Hi guys, <clears throat> one of the fun stuff, right, is just finding something online and then saying, wow, I want that too, <laughs> right? And this is going quite quickly, so it's an, an uh, you know, the speed has been dialed up, or how you say it in English, right? It's like, this is way too fast to be human possible. But um, we do, do like the look maybe, right? Maybe you find something, a screenshot, not a video, but here they're talking about a theme, right? Install Fluent Fountain theme. And we're making some videos about, um, well, the new Arclinx B Plasma that's going to be released soon. And Quantum is on board and it has been on board since five years on Arclinx, right? It's been on board on Arclinx XL since forever. Now, these things can be used on a basic level and can be used um, in more details, right? It's, it's just how much time you want to spend into all these things. Plus let's have fun, uh, install Fluent Quantum theme. What I would do is, um, yeah, well, uh, d d it depends. Um, I don't think we can get from here, but this is one of the things I'll do first on a sub, on, on a top level. This is the top level, global theme. And we've made one ourselves, the Arclinx Arc Dartella. If you click it, it's all applied. All of these things are applied. It's simple and easy. So having something to download and that's here, get new global themes is the most important thing of all, the most simple thing. This look you'll get with, with clicking, right? Just a click away and it's, it's yours. Uh, yeah, okay, we've read it. And then you just um, scroll down until you say, oh, I like this, the fancy color global or something like that. Now we're looking for a word, fluent, and maybe it's already available with this click, right? Fluent, but it is quantum. But fluent dark KDE team, by this name I, is, is recognizable. I know that guy, right? Well, in the sense that it's beautiful theme and it's a quantum theme. Okay, Fluent Dark KDE. And there's Fluent Light KDE and Fluent Round. No, please no, right? It, uh, no. <laughs> fluent Round Dark and so on. So we can have all these things at our disposal. Yes, we can. And it's in the pling. So we've seen in the video a source, right? It's important to show you the workflow rather than we click here and click there for this. This is another way of getting stuff. Look at it, KDE Store, Quantum. But there is so much more. I cannot make videos about all these, nor will I, right? But here are all the Quantums. And today we're talking about Quantums. So by Xar Varlesh, known, right? So some of these names will come back to you. You say, okay, know that guy, know that guy. And these themes, sometimes they are at the top. You see, can, you can see the rating and stuff like that. Here is the rating and here's the plinked. Now that this doesn't say it all, right? Doesn't mean you don't have to, well, you can start with the top things, but it, again, it's a choice. <laughs> so you choose whatever you like best. What's nice for you. So we have a link here download link of this guy and then you don't ask me you s you read okay I can theme is there the cursor theme is there the wallpaper is there quantum theme is that and then communication make yourself an account yeah? register go in there and ask excellent awesome problem I have a problem this is highlighted what can I do and give feedback to the developers because then they can change things Here's the download and there's also the install and on our clicks anyway, we have something already installed so you can click it. No, I'm not interested in the round. So install and it says always allow, fine, OSCS link, that's the name, OSCS URL, open link. Do you want to install it? You can't hardly see it, that's the thing. Yes, you say. And then it's installed, yeah. open. So what happened to my system? Oh my God, right? I got the dot themes, that's important to know, dot themes. 
fluent, fluent dark, fluent green. I've got a lot of fluent. All right. Okay. So now what? Well, as a developer, I like to know a little bit more. So it says KV quantum config. And how many lines do, does this need? It needs 600 lines to finally get the fluent. And this is also quite interesting if you open these things. If you have Inkscape, look at it. This is all the elements that it needs for the design. And all in one place, one big SVG. And then we go to the quantum, right? Everything down, down, down we go. Quantum. You know, it needs to be quantum it's because it says KV. And then we go for change and delete theme, arc dark, you're gone. And you have a look, where can I find quantum fluent? Well, I, I thought as much. <laughs> it's not installed in the user share quantum, and that's probably where it's gonna read it but it's installed somewhere else. So select a quantum theme folder. It's installed in control H in the dot themes. Themes fluent, let's take the dark. Okay, let's see if that works. Install this theme. Don't see anything change. The theme already exists, you want to override it sure so this has to be fluent dark okay um let's see sorry wrong thing let's take thunar look at that there are updates available ain't that nice ain't that nice control h so that's that thing let's see mm, where are you is the material blur from the last time. What was the name again? Okay. There he is at the top. Fluent dark. One, two, three. Okay, this changed. This does not change with it. So I'll just restart it again. Aha. Okay, that's fluent dark. Anything else we can have a look at? This maybe fluent dark. How about something else? Now, I have another idea. This is not. I. You have to select every time, every single time. Once you decide, hey, this is my thing. I'll go look for yay fluent and quantum and hopefully somebody put it online. So yes, and you can even take it. What does this mean, Orphan? It means that the maintainer actually put it online some time ago. It says I don't have the time and um, here it is. I don't, I will not maintain this package any longer. It's a one-sided decision and then this happens, right? And you see uh, somebody else can now take it, can own it again, and you can maintain it yourself. If you say, this is my thing, I always wanna have this thing. Is this pointing to exactly the same thing? I don't know. Is this pointing to the same GitHub as what we've now installed? You have to check all that. Okay. Control H again. It's installed in the themes. Open it up. Dark green, green, dark, light pink, pink, dark, purple. Let's take let's take the default. Okay. Install this theme. I've done it twice. Fluent. One, two, three. Click. Alright, we'll get something white. I go back to here. This is still black, but this is white. Maybe sometimes uh, there's really 
a reboot necessary or logout necessary. Well, let's not have that. That's not that's okay, right? And the advantage actually of, of having it, and there's a disadvantage, but there's also the advantage, it's local. It's on your local machine. It's in themes. And any file, any element, is just text margin, five, save, it's done. It's saved, it's local, it will be applied. So that's the fun bit maybe, that there is something that you can decide on the spot. If you don't like this text normal color or the focus color and so on and so on, you get the feeling all right. And already, I mean, it's like whole day is filled. The whole day is filled if you wanna go and dive into all this code. Well, not my day, but maybe yours, right? What if I change this? What if I do this? What if, what, how will it look? How it will affect my system? For now, another example, not that we have gone through all the details, right? Because the quantum theme is here, the icon theme. What is he using? He's using fluent icon themes. And the cursor theme is, fluent cursor theme so it's a black thing you yeah, know it's a black thing they look nice they look nice why not yeah. install it and even the wallpaper is provided so you have exactly the same look and that's the fun having everything available and that's Linux for you you can do anything you like to your system and make it nice all right so two sources quantum KD store and the Pling make both accounts register and also vote, right? Give people, um, how do you say that? Motivate them, give them how what is it called? There's there's some kind of system that you can actually uh, say to people. Well, first of all, the comments, right? But can, you can rate things. You can give them. Uh, I don't know how they say it. Mark it. There's some way of motivating these developers because that's it's their free time, right? It's their free time and you can benefit from it. All right, enjoy.